Hey friends! So one of the books I chose for the diverse picture book is Baby Goes to the Market. And this book is based in Southwest Nigeria and it's um, the setting is in a market. So it's just a really great book to show um, diversity in cultures because it shows how different markets are and grocery shopping is in other countries and how that looks very different from what it's like to grocery shop, shop in our country. So it's just a great book to um, teach students cultural difference in shopping for food and doing everyday stuff like that. So, um, like I said, it, the book title is Baby Goes to the Market. The author is Adenuk. She's a, Ni a Nigerian author. She has many books that are great. Um, and the il illustrator is Angela Brooksbank. The publisher is Candlewick Press, and the copyright date is September 5th, 2017. So I'll go ahead and read a, um, a couple of pages from the book. Market is very crowded. Baby is very curious. Baby is so curious that Miss Ade, the banana seller, gives Baby six bananas. Baby is so surprised. Baby eats one banana and puts five bananas in the basket. Mama doesn't notice. She is busy buying rice. So to jump um, I had a couple of pages. This is after Baby has put quite a few items in the basket. <laughs> Baby loves sweet corn. Baby loves sweet corn so much that the lady selling sweet corn gives Baby three roasted sweet corn. Baby beams. Baby eats one roasted sweet corn. And then um, the next page that's not shown here shows that um, the baby puts the rest of the sweet corn in the basket. So that is um, kind of the rhythm throughout it is that the baby um, puts a different number of food items in mama's basket. So that brings me into the activity I came up with. Um, like I said, throughout the story, it's based in this Nigerian uh, market and mama has baby on her back and her um, basket on her head and the baby keeps putting a different number of food items in the basket without her knowing. So the cool thing about this book is oftentimes in math, I feel like it's hard to incorporate diversity because you don't have as much opportunities in math. So I think this is a really cool book that incorporates um, a different culture, but also teaches adding and counting. So a fun activity I thought is um, I would uh, let the students watch a couple of different um, real life videos of mark, uh, different markets in Nigeria just so they could get a better idea of what a market looks like there, kind of like what food is there, what the people look like there, what they're wearing, how they're carrying their food. And then the students um, would make a math storyboard. So they would start out with the first box. They would design their own um, Nigerian market. So they can decorate it however they want, they put a bunch of color in it and put different foods and different people, whatever they could um, do. So they would, first box, they would make a market in Nigeria and they would write a little sentence with it like baby goes to the market or baby and mama go shopping, however they wanna put it. Now the boxes after that, they would put, uh, they would draw um, food, and say how much of, the, of that food item baby puts in mama's basket. So they would do that for X amount of boxes. So in my example, I obviously didn't draw, but I show that baby puts one banana in the basket, and I go on to say baby puts two coconuts in the basket, baby puts four corns, six biscuits. And then at the end, the last box, they're to draw a big, a big basket. It can be on mama's head or just the basket with all of the items in it. And then they have to, write how many items all together baby put in a basket. So it's just a great math activity um, at the same time it incorporates a different culture because they're um, depicting a different culture in the market and maybe some different foods that um, they don't typically buy at their market, but they're also doing um, math. So yeah, I just think it would be a really fun and simple activity. And um, yeah, I really loved this book and I'm definitely going to uh, especially since I want to teach math and I love math, I'm definitely going to remember this book and use it in my classroom. Thanks, guys.